body, everybody. Apologies for that one. Somebody fell off the bike. We had to get back on here. Three to one in Leonard Gates' favor. As we get back to it, let's get those numbers back up to where we were. We do apologize once again, but here we go. Just like the first time he threw on our stream earlier, boom, goes the dynamite right out the gates. Nick, you might as well just stop with the nine mark counter now because it is just... Bojank time. This has probably been an affair, let me tell you that. (laughs) Uh, the, The fact that we are in leg number five right now, and they've been probably playing for 15 minutes. Would you yeah, say? there's at least 10. There's at least 10, what, nine marks. I would say so. I would say so. We do apologize, folks, but it is the battle when you uh, are, are streaming from all different places. It's just so many factors. But, hey, we'll get on with it here. We welcome you back once again. The CSC Challenger Series brought to you by Partners Promoting Darts, Leonard Gates, Ram Gravera. A battle of Houston, Texas tonight. And a battle of back-to-back white horses for Leonard Gates. It's like, oh, the stream's back on? Okay, I'll throw my best. Actually, we have not seen him not throw a nine mark in a match so far. Ew. I, I take that back. There was the first leg there. I think we had back. We had nine mark, missed nine mark, nine mark. I think is how it went. But either way. Uh, Cameron Weigel actually asking a good question. Is Leonard wearing a uh, some sort of protective on his ankle there? You see, it's he's got yeah, it wrapped it could, up. It could be. could be a uh, wrap of some sort. He's been playing a lot of darts recently. That can, that can put some strain on you, whether we believe it or not. I mean... You tense up in your elbow, or maybe that's actually a knee brace, and maybe you just got it down right now. Okay. I think that's what it is. It's kind of a little bit loose, so I'm thinking it's a knee brace. Oh, my goodness. He walked in both of those. He's so frustrated. They did not win that leg there. (laughs) And he does his little gator. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Well, guys, we are back again here, and guess what? A to Z Darts just launched their L-Style along with the previous Fit Flight Autism Awareness exclusive design created by A to Z Darts in-house team. Leonard Gates with a 6.30 in that leg. Rock the phrase, accept, understand, love for the month of April. Or browse their other designs by searching for exclusive designs by A-Z. Their apparel company, Magicware, also include included the state of Minnesota to the Boom Goes the Dynamite jersey series. This one will leave you howling as Minnesota is home to the second largest population of wolves in the USA. Get your Boom Goes the Minnesotan custom jersey over at magicwear.com in their ready design section. And guys, we got a special giveaway tonight. Tonight's raffle winner will receive their choice of either Slim or Shape Autism Awareness L-Style Pro or Fit Flights. Magicware is offering a bonus raffle as well. If you can guess which state is next on the list of the Boom Goes the Dynamite jersey series. So far, they've covered Wisconsin, Florida, Texas, and Minnesota. Guess the correct state that they're going to design next and potentially win a free custom CSC fire jersey. You must spell the name of the state correctly. (laughs) With capitals. Okay? Pronunciation is key here, too. you got to pronounce it out, too. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, oh, boy is right. Ram trying to take this one to uh, 5.67, 5.50. There it is. Let's see our... Some people possibly uh, throwing oh, a few yeah. out there that are right. Yeah, there's already some right answers in that chat. I can see it. I seen it. And they were spelled correctly. That's always good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, hit that like button. Hit that share button. Leonard Gates, Ram Gravera, a couple of Houstonians going to battle here. Ram gets that point lead. Ooh, flights that one way off. He'll stay right there for another. Once again, using those Astra flights. I think that works perfectly for his throw. It's a very smart move. 
He hammers it. He definitely hammers it towards the board. It's very quick, quick throw. Yeah, we can get into flight dynamics a little bit if you want. The skinnier the flight, the the more bullet shaped it looks, uh, the less it is going to want to drop in the air. So um, the less drag that you'll have on the dart. So it's going to kind of propel a little bit faster than normal. He also throws like a nine gram dart. So um, his dart propels faster than most. He might have the fastest dart in darts. Uh, uh, Rapid Ricky and Danny Lauby would say otherwise, but no, no, hey. No. I don't mean fastest how he throws. I uh, just mean you just fastest mean... dart flying to the dartboard. Okay, okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Like the velocity of the dart, not the quickness in which he throws all three. Gates did have an opportunity there to potentially steal this leg away, but... Not anymore, I don't feel, as uh, he's kind of put into a guessing game here. And, and nothing at all other than a single 15. Big darts there from Ram. Big last dart. That's the six months that the six mark that kind of puts the nail in the coffin a little bit on this leg. Four to one lead here for Leonard Gates. You and see the, my goodness. Comment from Steve Dagger saying it snowed today in Wisconsin. Heard it snowed yep. in some other places. Didn't snow here in Kansas. 80 degrees, baby. Well, uh, give you the proverbial sign for uh, go jump off a cliff <laughs> uh, as I woke up to ice on my windshield this morning of my car. Um, as our temperatures drop drastically for no reason whatsoever. Leonard gets the point lead back. But Ram Jr., Bullseye 17, see ya. Leg one, four to two score line. And we are almost to the break already as we are in leg number seven. As nuts that we are already are potentially to our break here. And what is our third place match for Division One in our CSC Challenger Series brought to you by Partners Promoting Darts. Thanks for being here. We definitely appreciate you. A, uh, another CSC is right around the corner. We've got our uh, players duking it out to see who will be in the mix for Division One and Division Two. So you can see who's on the track at dartstoc.com. Just check out that CSC Challenger Series tab and the on-track list. Good little thing to do every once in a while. Well, of course, we're going to give a shout-out bonjour to Mr. Richard over there in France. Hope you're doing well. And Jacob Worthley in the chat. Where is Ram from? He's from Houston. Ugh. Playing out of the stadium in Houston, Texas. And then, of course, you have Leonard Gates playing out of Houston as well at Thirsty's. <laughs> Both of them Star City Amusements. Danny Sven, Sven told me to tell you he's going to miss you this weekend, my guy. And we're going to miss you oh, as well. Boy. So, Danny, we wish you nothing but the best, buddy. Yes, sir. Thanks for tuning in. I mean... I did all this homework on you and everything, so I know all these random stats now about Danny Baggish that I don't need to use anymore. But just, just fun randomly to have him in the bag. Just randomly <laughs> text him. That's what I do. <laughs> just stats about him. <laughs> Thinking about you, big guy. <laughs> uh, that's good. L Gates kind of putting Rams back against the wall. Oh, I'll I'll keep them in a in a warm, safe place for you, buddy. Ram throws three triple twos. Leonard gets it done. Five point six zero to win that leg. Takes a five to two lead, and buddy, you blink and we're at the break. We talked yeah. to two people in the chat, and the leg's over. 
these are that's that's kind of scary that we're already this this far through but we've got some good interviews for you folks hang in nope. there oh not no. anymore we going well they gotta lose what are they gonna yeah, do why not just keep going are they gonna kick, kick it out now like it's too late now hey let's Damn, just have some fun. seven mark <laughs> hey what what's 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 better than a than a hour long csc 45 minute csc that's what it may be here well boom goes the dynamite there for leonard gates and how about a boom goes the texan the new csc chowder series uh magic wear jersey for the dynamite series there the boom goes the texan yeah good yeah. addition indeed hunter uh the chad is attacking you only because um <laughs> uh once a week someone asked that question and then don't take offense to it at all um yeah the diddle counts as a as a leg on the game screen so it's always one off from what that game screen says and our screen at the top there our scoreboard itself is going to be the correct one it is five to two Well, I mean, sometimes, sometimes you just, you work so hard at your craft and you are so talented that, uh, you have nights like this where you're averaging an eight and your opponent's wondering, you know, why they even started to play this stupid game in the first place. Well, here's, here's another piece of information is to gate. Look at this. He's, he's smiling. Having, he's having he's a laughter. Somebody, somebody said something in the background. What, did did Gates go anywhere last weekend? Is another question I have. Was he on the road at all? Did he have time to just hit the board, hammer it out? I, I have no idea. Ram gets himself a seven mark there on the twenty. He's just going to stay in it for as long as he can in this leg. And again, this is nothing against Ram. It's just Leonard's doing something that honestly is crazy. Mike Maloney says, all right, Mr. Gates, get them all out this week, my man. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely hitting them left and right, it seems like, tonight. I still wouldn't count out Ram yet, guys. No, and that's what I'm saying. I, I mean, we hate to sound like we're counting them out because we're certainly not. I mean, Ram's the kind of player we saw him in the last time he was on the stream. He kind of looked down and out early. I maybe, maybe uh, made it sound like he was down and out early, but he came right back and won that bad boy when he needed to. Ram made that pretty close, I'm telling you. I mean, look at the way that scoreboard looks. It's not yep. a blowout anymore. Yeah, and it looks like they are going to take the break now. They Six. said we wanted one more in us. 6.32. Six, three, two. Two. And that looked like he did it without breaking a sweat. My Let's word. head to a break. Let's do it real quick. We got some interviews for you folks. Have a listen. Boy, another doozy from Leonard Gates. Take a look. My name is Leonard Gates, the Spartan, a.k.a. Soldier, playing out of Thirsty's Bar in uh, Pinehurst, Texas, uh, Operator Star City Amusement. Well, Spartans assemble because Leonard Gates is back at the CSC once again. We knew it wouldn't be long until we got to see you after your spectacular king seat match against Mike Maloney. That was actually the first time we've ever seen you lose a king seat match. Uh, How would you feel coming off it? It was good. It was good games and everything. Uh, we both shot consistent. You don't want to, I guess you could say, spoil the pie just yet. You know, uh, there's a lot more darts to play, and we're going to see how it goes. Well, we noticed during your match that you're having some fun uh, playing up some moments for the camera and having some antics. Uh, do you feel like that helped or hurt your dart game? I, I didn't even do either or. It's just, uh, it, it's you know, people want to do pregame rituals. I just thought I'd lighten the mood a little bit. But uh, uh, this, this, this here experience has brought out the dark side now, as you can see. Yeah. Well, so, I you know, we got many warriors ready to, to go to battle. 
<laughs> as they should be, as they should be. Um, now, I would be remiss if I didn't ask this. We saw you shoot at the wrong number a few times in the match, sometimes potentially on purpose. Why was that? Uh, just, to, just to keep my arm warm and, and just get focused on hitting triples and triples. Uh, you know, uh, the first one was probably a, a, a kind of a zoned in and shot the wrong number. Let me switch. But then the other one was like, yeah, I'm on it now. So, you know, just, just kind of a warm up, keep me focused. Well, tonight, this is the battle for the Lone Star State as you take on Ram Scruston Guevara Jr. Do you have any history against them? And what's going to be your game plan to come out on top? Uh, yeah, we, we played, we played uh, uh, each other a while uh, uh, in the past and whatnot. Uh, you know, I'm just going get to get up on the line and shoot my game and... Uh, uh, he just better hope he can keep up with it because uh, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a gasoline on this one here right now. Uh, if Mike Maloney ends up watching this interview, what do you got to say to him? Mike Maloney, hey, you you, you see right here, baby, it's the dark side coming. You know that that's that's all it could be right there. It's it's a different different me, but the same me. You understand? The part <laughs> in me, the Black Panther, you call it, baby. I'm here. <laughs> well, we're certainly excited to see that. Um, now, is there anything you want to say to your friends, fans, family, anybody else that's been watching along? Hey, everybody out there watching. Um, Y'all tune in tonight to see uh, a great match between two uh, Houstonians. And, uh, you know, hey, shout out to Janie's Diamond Club. You know, the supporters over there, they rocking with it, baby. They gonna watch a good game tonight, yeah? <laughs> Well, we're excited to see the dark side come out from Leonard Soldier Gates as this is going to be a exciting affair. Ram Scruz and Guevara on his Cinderella story. Let's see what happens. We wish you nothing but the best of luck. Leonard Gates and you're watching the CSC. Be there or be square, baby. My name is Ram Guevara, playing out of the stadium. I'm playing uh, with Star City Amusements. Scrooston Ram Guevara Jr. Welcome back to the CSE. Now with a nickname we decided upon. Ram, you've had a great last two weeks. You took down Dynamite Carter, and then most recently just took down Sunshine State, Kenny Doyle. Uh, how do you feel coming off those matches? I feel good, man. My game's been on point. Uh, just like I said, I've been relaxing and, and just going out there playing my game. Uh, that's all I can do. Well, after your first round loss, uh, you've gone on what I would wager to say is a Cinderella story run, where every opponent you played except one has had a higher preseason average than you. What do you have to say about your stellar run this season so far? Man, right off the bat when I played and I lost, I told my wife, I said, look, I'm not going down like this. I'm I'm, I'm a fight. I'm come back. I know I can do it. And that's what I've been doing. I've just been focusing strategy-wise and just playing my game, basically. Tonight, you definitely need to be playing your A game because you have one man standing in front of you before reaching the finals. What will be your game plan to best Gates? Uh, man, it's really no game plan. It's just I played him plenty of times. We, we went back and forth. Right now, he's on that mode where he's, you know, on top of everything. So... Just when like the way he played Maloney in, in the you know King Seed match, I was like, wow, you know, I know what I gotta go up against. And hey, you know what? I'ma just go do what I can do. And if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. Hats off to him, you know what I'm saying? He's a, he's one of the top shooters, best shooter in, in our, our side of town. 
Well, it's funny you say that because this matchup has been phrased as the battle of the Lone Star State, right? Uh, do you think tonight's winner will decide which Houston Dart player is best in the area? Nah, I don't think it's going to decide. There's plenty of shooters out here, uh, you know, in respect to all the up and coming players that have been, you know, sticking with the game, you know. And uh, but he is is the mainly the top one that everybody everybody wants to beat. If you beat him, then I mean, like you can beat anybody, you know, just the way they put it. If Mike Maloney ends up listening to this interview, watching from the king seat, what do you want to say to him? Hey, you know what, Maloney, if I come through against Gates, I don't need you practicing all week, taking days off of work. I just, hey, you know what, just come out and play. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Anything you want to say to your friends, fans, family, anybody else watching along? I just want to thank all my friends, my fan support. You know, I got a lot of support here at the stadium. We all support each other over here, my wife, uh, the crew. That's what we call everybody over here, the crew. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Just thank you for all the support. Ram Scruston Guevara Jr., you have your best match of the season yet in front of you. We are excited to see you take on Leonard Gates here for our third place match of CSC Division One, And we wish you nothing but the best of luck. Of this is Ram Guevara playing the CSC Challenge. Well, back once again, here we are, Leonard Gates, Ram Guevara, as it is a current scoreline of 6-2 to two in favor of Leonard Gates. We uh, got an additional leg in before we hop to our break, but that's quite all right. Yeah, uh, behind the scenes, Ram sending a message to the messenger yelling at Nick, said, I, I had Leonard right where I wanted him, why'd you stop, it? stop me? <laughs> at six to two behind so then he put a laughy face so knew he was not serious about that they're having a good time in the chat that's uh that's for sure so we are back at it what's the final score bud i had nine seven gates um i'm gonna hold to it we'll see if it comes true or not okay uh chat i want to ask smart people what's your final score prediction for tonight <laughs> That's brutal. That's, brutal. <laughs> That's not right at all. I'm just messing with you, buddy. <laughs> no, I do. Uh, but there's no way. There's no way Ram gets a seven. I, I want to double down on something we talked about in the interview. Uh, when Ram and I were talking, he has been the underdog every step of the way. There's only one match where his preseason uh, average was higher than his opponents, and that was uh, literally by 0.1 oh. of a difference. Fun fact. Uh, round one, Kevin Schmitz. That's where he took the L. That's where Ram took the L. And then he played Todd Wagman in the second round, Steve Diker, Sean, uh, Shane Johnson, Johnny Lackey, Mike Scarborough, Mike Carter, Kenny Doyle. And this is ninth round. I mean, that's why he's played 105 games. He's had to go through a gauntlet to get here. And honestly, for Ram to finish in third or get to the finals is pretty impressive after taking that L in round number one. 150%. That is absolutely need to be said. Uh, that no matter what happens tonight, it looks like Leonard seems to be uh, throwing his really, really, really good stuff, which is not going to beat or not going to be beaten by very many people at all. But um, the fact that Ram has come through this field, he beat a great opponent in Kenny Doyle last week. He uh, went through a lot of great gauntlet of matches, all from the loser side. It's tough to do in division one, especially. Um, and most of the time is the underdog. So uh, hats off to him. I know it's his best finish in the CSC. I believe he finished fourth in uh, season two or one. So, um, Hey, he's one of those guys that next year, next season, when we talk about our favorites to win, you just you have to include Ram. You do. He needs to be involved in that. I mean that that runs very impressive. I mean, anytime you take an L in the first round is just you know you got a battle ahead of you and to come out yeah. on top in numerous rounds and get to here is pretty impressive. So job well done, no matter what, for Ram. For uh, Leonard, I wanted to mention his tail of the tape. Eric Lucky, Mike Scarborough, Kenny Doyle, Mike Carter. And then Mike Maloney. 
So yep. there was his run as he looked for another nine. Lots of mics. Saying his believing there for Leonard Gates, I guess. Yeah, lots of mics here. <laughs> We're both Mike and Mike one. in the morning. Awkward silence after that statement. Yes, kidding. it was. I didn't hear exactly expect uh, that, my guy. Boom goes the eight mark there for Leonard Gates. Um, so I won't say the rest of that. Um, yeah, it's been quite the battle, honestly. Uh, for Ram, all season long has been great. And how about shout out to Houston, Texas, right? Like, both these guys from the Houston area, Star City Amusements, Leonard Gates wins it with a 6.0. They finished in third and second. So I think Texas is really, really coming up there with the Wisconsinites, with the Floridians that we've had in the CSC Challenger Series. We we get more and more Texans, too. So hats off to that. I mean, between Wisconsin, between uh, Texas and uh, Florida, we've got our good... Uh handful of players that do fairly well in the CSC, but Mike Maloney in that Illinois area kind of taking control in this one so far. We'll see. We've got more and more players reaching out to be involved in the CSC. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've had uh, numerous heavy hitters hit me up. And by heavy oh, hitters, yeah. I mean like elite of the elite saying, hey, how do I get involved in this? I, I can't let that money uh be looked at anymore i gotta be a part of it well i don't know any players really kind of like that so not that big time um like some of us but no i'm just totally kidding um but it's you're right that i you should get in this if you are a great player um get into the csc challenger series get involved a lot of money here to be made um and there's a lot of players that are already in the CC Challenger series or that really want more competition. Bring those top dogs. Let's do it. I'm messing with whoever I know who I just said that about. I knew I was going to get in trouble when I said that. We do need some indie people here. Trevor Sellers. Huh? You guys want to know how to get involved? CSC China series. Oh, what a big round there from Ram. Sorry to interrupt you there, but man, no, let's massive. stay with this. Never mind. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> Leonard going to look at those the 16s. Averages. Ooh, takes out the 17 there. Yeah, I thought Ram would go 15s first. There goes the 16s. Back to the 15s. Big darts from Ram Gravera. He's telling us not to write his eulogy yet. He's not done yet. He said, hold on now, fellas. Um, well, that's maximum pressure from Leonard. That could not have been a better round. There's a little twirl from Ram. And there he is. gets it. Look at those averages. 6.17, 6.2. Gross, gross, gross. Disgusting indeed. Hey, don't forget A to Z Dars launched their new exclusive autism awareness flights. You can choose between Shape or uh, and Slim for both L Style and Fit Flight now. Just click the banner on their homepage. They are also featuring the Gerwin Price Thunder Special Edition Barrel as their April Dart of the Month. Receive a free Iceman jersey with select Gerwin Price Dart purchases. Uh, one jersey per order, though, so uh, click the banner on their homepage to browse the Iceman signature line right after this CSE Challenger Series match. Hey, plug that giveaway. It's, what You said the giveaway? Yeah. Well, how about a couple of them this evening? How today's, winner, today's winner will receive their choice of Slim or Shape Autism Awareness L-Style Pro or Fit flight uh, uh flights so uh and that's a kind of a double whammy there fit flight flights there we go <laughs> i was like whoa let's stumble over that one uh and magic wear is also offering a bonus raffle as well if you can guess which state 
is the next in the list for the uh, Boom Goes the Dynamite Jersey Series. So, Did you say the guess Boom away. Goes the Dynamite Jersey Series? Yes, the Boom Goes the Dynamite Jersey ah, Series. Feels so How, good when you say it. Isn't that crazy to say? <laughs> Guys, just leave a comment in our chat. Hit that like button. Guess a state. What's coming next? The boom goes the jersey. Any state. Except don't guess Florida or Minnesota or Wisconsin or Texas. They already exist, guys. Or Washington, D.C. That's a territory. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I was wondering if I could get you guys. (laughs) You're welcome. As I get them both chuckling away, you're welcome. Big trip 19 there from Ram. He had the possibility there of taking this away. Goes back to the 19s there. So 283 plays 224. Well, do you want to get no? Do you want to know to become a major PPD events like CSC Challenge Series? Yes, of course, hey. always. Guys, if you want to know, if you want to become involved in the CSE Challenger Series, players become eligible for those by playing in PPD leagues or daily remote tournaments, which are DRTs. Leagues are starting daily, so get involved by going to dartstoc.com and checking out the map. The map will show any location with G3 boards within the PPD system. They are always accepting new members, so if you're not seeing anything in your area, just have the vendor contact them on the website. From there, players can sign up for leagues on the website. It doesn't take a ridiculous amount of games to be eligible either. Consistently playing one league a week will keep a player eligible for this event in the future. Again, go to D-A-R-T-S-T-O-C dot com to get signed up today. Guys, get involved. I know I got my Hoosiers in there trying to get involved. Get involved. Big nine, Mark, while you're chatting from Ram Guevara to set himself up for the win here in this leg. Yeah, and you have to... One thing that we have not said, we started writing this eulogy without telling everyone about the PPD player advantage rule. So even if Ram makes a seven to four, he will go first again in the next leg. This is not over till it's over. Yeah, Although that's... again, Leonard Gates puts maximum pressure on his opponent. I was hoping I was like, he could possibly still pull that nine seven margin. Although it's it's going to be tough. I mean, even a win is going to be. Even tougher to think about, but it's possible here from Ram. Has he able to put that one away? 5.64 to 5.87. Yep. And he'll go first again. Um, ben asked, where can I buy the darts to get the free jersey? That is a-zdarts.com. Gerwin Price uh, signature line there. I believe comes with a free Gerwin Price jersey. Well... Yeah. Click that button on the home page. Yep. Boom, go, crack goes the corn. <laughs> I do like the sound of boom goes the sooner. That does sound pretty good. Yeah. Just FYI, just saying. I do like that. Boom goes the Nodakian. Boom goes the Hawkeye. No Dakian, I like that. Dakian. Hopefully we see some of those coming up. I want to see some of them involved in our CSC. I know there's lots of quality shots up there. Chip Anderson, Don Gunville, Dason Alberts, to name a few. Well, boom goes the dynamite there from Ram Gravera. He is heating up right now. The fire behind me is burning extra bright because he is in fuego. Maybe I was wrong in saying he, there was no way he was getting a 9-7. to seven. Told you, Don't count him out quite yet now. Oh, I'm definitely not counting him out. I just, I called you silly for making that statement originally, but now it doesn't sound as silly. Well, if you do recall, some of us, or one of us, has gotten numerous matches correct. One of us hasn't, I believe, gotten uh, maybe one Maybe two, right? In our CSC uh, run? Who would that be? That, the one that I got correct was uh, a Wednesday night match. It was uh, July 50, 15th 
of uh, last year. It was the first time I ever got a match correct. It was the only one I remembered. At one point, I was three for three on correct guesses. Mm-hmm. On score lines, mm-hmm. we'll just put mm-hmm. that out there for everybody to to uh, remember. Well, Leonard Gates gonna hammer the sixteens. Yes, five point two is. to a five point two. My goodness. Up to Ram now to look at his favorite seventeens or twenties. There goes the sixteens. Oh, he tried to get rid of him. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Were you pumping the, the jam? What were you doing there? Uh, well, I had uh, Bruins plus one and a half and uh, under six today on a nice little parlay bet, and it was a three-one score line. So, hello, right. baby. Well, I apologize, everyone, for asking that question. All right, here's Leonard. There's a double, 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 and he gets them. He gets five of them. Why does? Why is he so good at just putting the exact amount of pressure that you need to put on your opponent every time? He's like, oh, you thought this was going to be an easy win? Watch this. It's just that relaxed feel, man. That relaxed and mentality. What? And now he has winning darts. Now he has winning darts in this leg. He does not need more. That's still pretty gross, though. Just like the double bull and dart three. It counted it. Yep, you're good, Gator. Well, it does get the... triple 17 there. Good five mark, but. You play with fire, you get burned. Yeah, leaning on the edge here. Oh, Gator. oh, right well, on the outside the right wire. Right on the outside wire. I don't like it. I wouldn't even like it if he hit it. He no longer has winning darts in his hand now. Stay right there for another double. Jeez. He, uh, he's just you know? he's just so solid at the at the at the double bulls. I mean, that's why you see him every yeah. so often instead of going sixteens or fifteens, he'll choose to go bull route. Yep. And that's why you'll see him in steel tip with ninety five left go trip fifteen double bull. I mean, honestly, it's because he has confidence hitting bulls. Why did he not go for the winning uh, why did he not shoot the first start at the seventeen or fifteen? It was tie ball game. This is as good as mine there. Now Ram could take this if he chose to, but he'll stay right there. I think that's the smart play. Unfortunately, he only came up with two singles. Oh, boy. What what round are we in? Uh, we're in uh, round. Uh, this is over. Oh. oh. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling the you. Outside. Round 13, so yeah, not even coming yep. into question there. No, and unfortunately, Ram's about to lose a heartbreaking leg. That unless something crazy happens here. One more. No, he tried to kill shot right away. It's a bold move, Cotton. We're going to see if it pays off for him. I, I still think Ram stays on the 15s. I'm saying I don't mind that play from Leonard. No, I don't mind it at all. You hit it, and you're golden. Yeah, exactly. Another big one from uh, Gravera, though. 100 ahead. Still winning darts for Leonard. Double ball, double ball. We'll give him a shot at it. But that was much better there from Ram. He's kind of digging himself out of this issue. Now he can go for it. Once again, for those oh no, just joining us, apologies on the nine mark counter. We do apologize for that one, but we'll give you 
some numbers tomorrow, I'm sure, as we reach out to those from the PPD. So All right, be Randy. on the eye for uh, those stat lines coming out tomorrow. For seven to five, and that's a brutal first start. Oh, that's a huge second, though. Great. Big darts from Ram. Take a breath. You worked hard for that one. Somehow played with fire and did not get burned. Ram Cabrera makes it 7-5. Leonard will go first again. That was a big leg. That was certainly a big leg. One step closer for Ram. Well, guys, leave a comment in our chat. Hit that like button on our pages. Hit that share button for us. Send this out. This is becoming quite the battle here. The CSC Challenger Series Division One third place match. But leaving a comment in our chat and hitting our like button will enter you into tonight's live stream giveaway brought to you by A-Z-Darts.com. Tonight's raffle winner will receive their choice of either Slim or Shape, Autism Awareness, L-Style Pro, or Fit Flights. Magicwear is offering a bonus raffle as well. If you can guess which state is next on the list of the Boom Goes the Dynamite Jersey Series. So far, they've covered Wisconsin, Florida, Texas, and Minnesota. So don't guess those. Guess the correct state that they're going to design next and potentially win a free custom CSC Fire jersey. Just leave that state in our chat. Just put where you're from. You never know. You could be right. Never know. Your state could be next. Just keep an eye on our platforms as well as Magic Wear. They're nice custom jerseys. I saw someone put Chicago. That is not a state. <laughs> hey, I told you Washington, D.C., my man. I could see it happening. <laughs> But if we do Puerto Rico, it's got to be annexation of Puerto Rico. Oh, like, for sure. Like the Little Giants. Yeah, yeah, Just a Little Giants jersey. <laughs> well, here we go. Leonard, looking at the 16s early here. I don't know about the second dart at it, but if you know you're going to hit the trip 20 on dart three like he does, I guess go for it. Ram can hit a lot of 16s, though. Seen him do it multiple times. Seems like a good time for it. Or just a roll all the way around the board. Gets himself seven. And I'm okay with that too. Could have been a huge dart if you would have hit that trip 18. <laughs> Said Gates. You see, that uh, kicks. Kicks his comment said, boom goes the Franny. <laughs> I like it. That's fantastic. It is fantastic. We should make that an actual jersey. That's fantastic with just a picture of Kicks on the back with thumbs up. I bet at least three people buy that jersey. <laughs> Been asking if we're covering the Ohio State Dart Tournament. We have not been reached out for that one yet, so um, if you'd like to reach out for our services, you can reach out to us at usadarts.live, or you can reach out to Sean at Indie Darts to the Point Streaming. So, Always happy to, to showcase talent. Leonard Gates, 5.00. And there's a lot of talent in Ohio, I can tell you that much. 362 on the point line, and it is now 8 to 5. Ram has got to win four legs on the spin. We saw Mike Baloney win three in a row last week. Can Ram win four? Since next week. Well, reach out to us for next year. Uh, we definitely no, won't be there this year. Never mind. Yep. <laughs> We'll instead be at uh, NDA is the next one for USA, and then Whammo is the next one after that. 
but we're looking forward to October as well as TOC's right around the corner for PBD. So, oh yeah, always a good one to mark down on the calendar. Nice addition of a mixed doubles event this year. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, guys. Just get involved. Go to dartstoc.com. Still get qualified for TOC. Oh, Steve, you'll be seeing us at both. Don't you worry. By us, it does not mean me, though, Steve. Yeah, you'll be seeing a lot of me as I may be crashing on your sofa for a couple nights. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what Leonard does here. Well, he's just going to nine mark the 16s. Boom goes the Texan. Leonard Gates, 6.0 in this leg. Another and he nine. He's trying to end it here. It's scary to think how many he has tonight. Uh, I can't wait to can't wait to see. Ram only getting five twenties. I didn't mean to talk like Christopher Walken there for a second. My bad. As Leonard throws in five sixteens. You guys, you talking to me all wrong? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Uh. All right. Is this where Leonard takes a shot at it? He likes it. Working around the board. Uh, there goes that. Oh, almost. Shout out to Miss Virginia back there watching along. Yeah, and shout out to Valerie as well. I'm sure she's either... Chilling there or tuning in, uh, listening right now. So the better halves are always good to mention because without uh, them allowing us to go out and do <laughs> this gig, yeah, because uh, we know our wives allow us to go uh, get on the computer and do this while they get to put the kiddos to bed and whatnot. So shout out to all the misses. Absolutely. And Ram, unfortunately, pulls that third dart in. That could be the last dart he throws in the CSE Challenger Series. Nope. And Gates is looking for it. As he, he must have <laughs> said something. Somebody must have said something in the background. So I bet you a dollar. <laughs> uh, it's nice to see him just, man, he's just having a good time throwing a 5-7-1 <laughs> in this leg, huh? There's just zero pressure whatsoever. <laughs> hey, let, let's talk about this, okay? Really quick. We basically wrote Ram's eulogy. And that was about half an hour ago. And half an hour later, he still fought hard Scratch and clawed. It's eight to five. He's still very much in this leg. He has won some legs that have been, uh, quite frankly, um, drag out, knock out, center of the ring, just haymakers being thrown at each other. And he stayed strong through all of it. So not going out without a big fight. It's the story of the CSC for Ram Gravera yep. this year. It's been just... Just hard fought every step of the way, man. Uh, kudos to him for for his battle to even get oh, to this no. third place position. You can't throw darts like that, though. You cannot make a mistake like that. Not going to be devastating, though. Honestly, he just gifted him winning darts. And Ram says, no, thank you. Well, one bowl needed for Leonard Gates. And he will move on to play Mike Maloney next week. There it is. 5.71 in that last leg for Leonard Gates. 9-5 to victory over Ram Gravera. Hats off to Houston. 
And uh, hats off to the stadium, Ram, and uh, everyone else. Fantastic job. And, of course, to the soldier, Leonard Gates. We get another fantastic mask of some kind next week in our interview, and I cannot wait. Well, how, for that. how about how about this? We could get two masks. You never know, as we could get a double dip match as we head to our finals, where Leonard Gates will take on Mike Maloney for a nice prize, a cash prize of four thousand five hundred dollars, to be exact. So, yeah, what do, you, what do you say about that one, Sean? Ram, I feel terrible for you that you're out, buddy, but I don't feel that bad. Seventeen hundred and fifty bucks. Is not a bad payday, uh, to say the least, bud. So congratulations on third place. Well done, well deserved. Um, and next year you're you're in that you're in that favorite category. You just are. I will say your name on that like preview night, whenever it is. Uh, if you're there, I'm saying your name because I will never count out Ram Gravera from this point forward. So um, I'm excited for next week, buddy. We we get the rematch. From a nail biting last leg decider last week, that was just five five point eight plus for both players. Uh, broke the record for seven marks. They're gonna break the record for nine marks next week. I mean, I, I'm a kid in a candy store. <laughs> well, I get to go do cross border uh, challenge this weekend. You're gonna be there. It's gonna be great. And then Monday we get that. Yeah, it's what gonna life be are we live. It's going to be a nice match on Monday night. We're certainly looking forward to it. What was a record-breaking affair for his last go-around? Could be another record-breaking affair this go-around. But Wednesday night, we've got a good match in division number two that we can't forget about. I believe it's Chris Watson uh, who's going to be in attendance. And who is he going to be taking on? I believe it is Jeremiah. Is it Jeremiah? Yeah, it's Jeremiah Berger. So uh, looking forward to... That match. Does the bar darter do it again, man? Good. Another guy that I mean, stopped that get lost in the first side of the losers, man. That's he. He'd be the second person. We'll see who's going to play Brett Hollanday in the finals next week on Wednesday. But I'm looking forward to that matchup, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that share button uh, as soon as we go live on Wednesday. And uh, head on over to our pages. Hit that notification button so that when we go live on Wednesday, you're no- notified right away. You get to see the whole thing, the whole countdown from five Same minutes time. to zero. And then we still don't start on time again. And then we go for a minute and a half and then, you know, we'll just leave for about five minutes and then come back. <laughs> Set that reminder. Now, don't forget Wednesday night, eight thirty central Facebook and YouTube pages here for USA darts and partners promoting darts. Thanks for joining us. William Stewart, Sean Green, Nick Deshera. Take care folks. We'll see you next time. Have a great night guys.